Americans cannot be accountable for the type of government other countries have, nor should we be responsible for it. So the fact an individual comes here because they choose a specific lifestyle that is illegal in their own country doesn't necessarily mean they should get amnesty here. Those are words spoken by Michigan Representative Kim Meltzer at an anti-illegal immigration r rally that was held recently, and she was uh, referring to a gay Iranian undocumented immigrant who now has been arrested and faces the danger of deportation. Uh, this guy goes by the name of Mo, and he's got a video posted up here on YouTube, and he was at a, a sit-in at the offices of John McCain over in Arizona, protesting their new illegal immigration law, which I am against, and I may touch on that in another video. I've been very, very busy lately. Um, I don't really have much time to explain why. I got a new job, and it's just taken a lot of my time. Um, basically, what I want to say to Ken Meltzer is, you know, try to be sympathetic to this guy's situation. Now, I know a lot of people are against illegal immigration, and I understand why. Um... As a person who, you know, really supports most of the ideas or of the Libertarian Party, I do understand, you know, that most Libertarian people do support the securing of American borders for our safety. However, there are certain incidents like this that just stand out to me. And I think that it's important to realize that sometimes when a person, if a person is here illegally and, uh, they would face danger if they were deported. They would face, you know, certain death or execution because they would be persecuted in their home country. Then it's morally the right thing to do to grant them citizenship here in the U.S. I really do believe in granting people political asylum to save their lives. And, um, you know, because gay people get killed in Iran. They get executed. If you're found out, you die. And that's obviously morally repugnant. You know, to kill somebody just because they were born differently. And that's another thing, you know, Kim Meltzer, she said that uh, she referred to being gay as a lifestyle choice. Well, that's the big problem here, is that a lot of people, unfortunately many Republicans, which I may agree with on fiscal economic matters, a lot of these Republicans feel that being gay is a lifestyle choice, and that's just absolutely incorrect. You know, we don't choose this as a lifestyle refer to the persecution that we face, not only here in America, but even worse, death in foreign countries. Nobody's going to choose to live that kind of a life where you get treated like that. I mean, think about it. There are studies, scientific studies, that prove that homosexuality is something that a person develops as in the womb. It's not something that we can control. It's just how our brains function and develop. I want to ask people out there who are also who are strongly against illegal immigration to show a little bit of compassion here. Um, think about the horrible things that this innocent young life, this young man, will experience if he's forced and deported back into Iran. Uh, he seems to be a very intelligent person. He's a college student. He couldn't get certain grants because he is an illegal immigrant, which is unfortunate. Because I really think that, you know, he would be a very productive member of society if he was made a citizen allowed to stay here in America. And, you know, having a heart doesn't mean that you're a bleeding left-wing liberal. And it doesn't mean that you're a socialist, for crying out loud. Having a heart and having compassion just simply makes you a good person. And I would like to think that, you know, people like Ken Meltzer could look beyond politics for once and really, you know, find it in their hearts to make exceptions in cases like this. Because, you know, it just really makes my heart sink to think that this guy would be sent home just to be tortured. Especially because he's gay. That kind of an issue, of course, hits home to me.